In South Africa, a nation where the scars of apartheid still linger, free and fair elections are the cornerstone of a fragile democracy. Established in 1996, the Electoral Commission of South Africa, IEC, has held eight national elections, earning international acclaim for their peaceful and transparent conduct. Yet, as the 2024 polls approach, a crossroads looms. Political tension simmer, socio-economic disparities widen, and murmurs of interference arise. Can the IEC navigate these headwinds to deliver another successful election, one that upholds the democratic aspirations of millions? The track record is impressive. Since 1994, the IEC has overseen elections consistently praised by international observer missions, earning excellent or good ratings in 80% of assessments. Yet, past accolades don't guarantee future immunity. In 2019, local elections were marred by logistical glitches and allegations of manipulation, highlighting vulnerabilities. South Africa's current context amplifies these concerns. Political parties jostle for power, with the ruling African National Congress facing internal divisions and public discontent. Socioeconomic challenges like unemployment and inequality simmer, potentially fueling unrest and distrust in institutions. Security concerns, from cyber threats to potential voter intimidation, further complicate the picture. The legal framework provides some solace. The Electoral Act outlines clear procedures and a code of conduct to ensure fairness. Over 28 million South Africans are registered to vote, a testament to democratic engagement. Yet, voter apathy remains a concern, and potential disenfranchisement due to outdated addresses or logistical hurdles could suppress turnout. Challenges abound. Political parties, wary of past interference, accuse each other of manipulation. Misinformation campaigns on social media spread like wildfire, threatening to distort the electoral landscape. Cybersecurity threats loom, with concerns about hacking and vote tampering. Logistical hurdles, especially in remote areas, could hinder smooth execution. But amidst the anxieties, there's hope. The IEC, bolstered by a budget increase for 2024, invests in technology and training to combat cyber threats and ensure logistical efficiency. Public education campaigns aim to combat misinformation and encourage voter participation. Civil society organizations and international observers stand ready to monitor the process. However, the path has not been without its hurdles. In 2009, concerns emerged regarding the accuracy of the voters' role, leading to a court challenge and subsequent improvements in data management. The 2016 local election saw logistical hiccups, with some polling stations opening late and ballot papers delivered incorrectly. These incidents, while addressed, serve as reminders of the constant need for vigilance and improvement. The legal framework governing South Africa's elections is enshrined in the Electoral Act of 1998, supplemented by the Code of Conduct for Political Parties. These documents provide a robust structure for conducting elections, outlining clear procedures for voter registration, campaigning, and dispute resolution. As of December 2023, over 28 million South Africans are registered to vote, representing roughly 75% of the eligible population. However, concerns linger about potential disenfranchisement, particularly in marginalized communities with limited access to registration facilities. Securing the electoral process is paramount, and the IEC implements a multi-led security approach. This includes collaborating with law enforcement agencies, deploying security personnel at polling stations, and utilizing tamper-proof ballot boxes and result transmission systems. In the 2019 elections, over 230,000 security personnel were deployed, and no major security incidents were reported. Funding is crucial for the IEC to fulfill its mandate. For the 2024 elections, the national budget has allocated 2.3 billion rand, representing a 15% increase compared to 2019. This is intended to cover expenses ranging from voter education to the procurement of electoral materials and technology. Yet, challenges persist. Allegations of political interference, though unsubstantiated in recent elections, continue to cast a shadow. Voter apathy, 
particularly among young people, is another concern, with turnout rates dipping in recent polls. The proliferation of misinformation and disinformation campaigns online poses a growing threat, potentially influencing voter behavior and eroding trust in the process. The road to the 2024 elections is paved with both strengths and challenges. The IEC's proven track record, robust legal framework, and commitment to security are positive indicators. However, addressing concerns about potential interference, voter apathy, misinformation, and logistical hurdles will be crucial for ensuring the credibility and inclusivity of the upcoming polls. Ultimately, the success of South Africa's elections hinges not only on the IEC's capabilities, but also on the active participation and vigilance of its citizens. A 2023 poll by Afrobarometer, a Pan-African research network, revealed that 62% of South Africans trust the IEC to conduct free and fair elections. This number, while seemingly solid, reflects a decline from 70% in 2019. Digging deeper, disparities emerge. Trust tends to be higher among older demographics and established political party supporters, while younger voters and those dissatisfied with current leadership express greater skepticism. Political parties themselves present a cacophony of opinions. The ruling African National Congress maintains confidence in the IEC, citing its past successes and adherence to the law. However, opposition parties like the Democratic Alliance raise concerns about potential political interference and advocate for greater transparency. Civil society organizations play a crucial role in holding the IEC accountable. My Vote Counts, an active watchdog group, expresses cautious optimism, commending the IEC's recent efforts to address past shortcomings but urging vigilance against potential manipulation. Similarly, the Institute for Justice and Reconciliation highlights the need for open communication and accessible information to bolster public trust. International observers from the European Union and Southern African Development Community commended the IEC's professionalism in the 2019 elections, but cautioned against complacency. They emphasized the importance of addressing logistical challenges, voter education, and combating misinformation as critical areas for improvement. Positive experiences from past elections provide a crucial anchor for confidence. Voters often cite the smooth running of polling stations, efficient vote counting, and timely results as testaments to the IEC's competence. However, concerns about long queues, logistical hiccups in remote areas, and the disenfranchisement of eligible voters cast shadows on these positive memories. These concerns translate into anxieties about potential future disruptions. Fears of cyber attacks, voter intimidation, and manipulation of results through social media disinformation campaigns loom large in public discourse. Recent incidents, like the alleged misuse of data by political parties, fuel these anxieties and underscore the need for proactive measures to safeguard the electoral process. In conclusion, predicting the outcome of the 2024 elections remains an exercise in informed speculation. The road ahead is paved with both hope and concern. While the IEC possesses a proven track record and operates within a robust legal framework, the challenges cannot be dismissed. Ultimately, the likelihood of free and fair elections hinges on several critical factors which include the IEC's unwavering commitment to its mandate, the public's active participation and vigilance, and a collective commitment to accountability and transparency. Only when these elements coalesce can South Africa truly step onto the path of a credible and inclusive electoral process. The journey will be arduous, but the stakes are high demanding the collective effort of every citizen to safeguard the fragile threads of their democracy. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share and subscribe.